top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king's annotation, cover that the trap mail, but the rest of the time, rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made a black man. Hey guys, what's going on? Timpus here, back with another Photoshop tutorial and you guys have been really wanting to see some more Photoshop tutorials so in this one I'll be teaching you guys how to make your text look better in Photoshop. So there will be two different ways you can make your text look better so I'll just quickly get into the first one. It's not going to be too hard, pretty easy stuff so yeah. I'm just going to change the text to text. I'll be using pink just like that. So you want a bright colour for your text and a dark colour for your background. So first of all go to your effects and then go to outer glow and then change it to overlay and then you can make this a bit bigger so it, you can just mess around with it. So yeah and then you want to go to inner glow change this to overlay as well and then just bring these two elements up. And then after that you can go to inner shadow and change that to overlay as well, but drop down the opacity. And then finally go to drop shadow and change it to white. And then bring the distance down to zero and spread and size up. But you're, oh yeah, you want to change it to normal, the blend mode, like so. In fact, no, you can change it to overlay. Yeah. But yeah, then what you want to do is duplicate the layer and then rasterize them both. No, rasterize, rasterize the first one actually. And the second one, you want to get rid of the inner shadow. And then once you've done that, rasterize it and go to go to motion blur like so so it looks quite good so far and then you can drop down the opacity of that so you've basically got the glowing effects there but you can also do some more stuff so you could add another layer then go to your brush tool and then change it to like a white and then get like a round brush, so uh, something like this. And then just go around the back of the text, like so. Just doing it quick. And then once you've done that, change it to overlay, and then boom, you've got your glowing text. So if you get rid of the white, it just looks like that. And then that looks, that looks very good. You can mess around with the opacity of it. So if it's too like too glowy, then you can bring down the opacity of it. But yeah, that's basically your glowing text. So I'll put that up at the top. And then for the second part of the tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make it look like it's a liquid or like just like I don't know, yeah, liquid type of text. So change it to text again. Um, yeah, I'll just change it to like a pink again. And then, I want you to go to the effects again. And then basically you do the same, so outer glow, overlay, inner glow, and then change that to overlay, inner shadow, overlay. Or you go to inner glow again, bring up these two. So you got that effect. And that's basically it, and then you go to, you duplicate it, and then rasterize the bottom one, filter, and then ripple. And you can do whatever you want here, if it's too much you can get rid of it, but... So it looks a bit like that. And then rasterize the top one, and you can just rub. Oh wait, one second guys, yeah, one 
things so right so if it's too much you can rub away the actual ripple in some areas so like if you don't like that get rid of it or over here and then you can also like drag it down and then rub away the top You can do whatever you want. And then you could add like a motion blur or something. But like not too much. Like so. So yeah, that's like the liquid type of text. You could also like rub away the top if you wanted to. Oh. So you can do whatever you want, that's basically the glowing text and the liquid text type. Oh god. So yeah. I hope you guys like this little tutorial, just teaching you guys how to make some cool text if you don't want to do the text, you don't want boring text like just white, no style to it. So you could choose any of these or you can do whatever you want. But if you guys want to see some more tutorials like this, just comment down below, give me some feedback. And if you like this video, please like and share it. Subscribe if you're new. And um, I'm not sure, I might be doing some Twitch videos um, where you can actually watch me do some designing live. So it'll give you a bit more, of, it'll be a bit like a tutorial, I'll be answering questions and stuff. So if you want to see some of that, comment below again. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe and bye.